Hey guys, welcome to Just One More. So our new 43 foot RIV. Uh, so jump on board and we'll give you a quick tour of everything going on. So we'll start up the top and then work our way back down. We'll give you a good run through on, uh, on everything on the boat and show you what we've done and what our plans are and we'll go from there. So come on upstairs to the flybridge. So, welcome to Just One More's Flow Bridge. Uh, when we picked up the boat, the boat was fitted out with Furuno gear. So we've done a full, complete swap out of all the Furuno gear with Simrad gear. Uh, obviously Simrad have looked after us in the past, so that was always going to be the plan. We've updated all the gear. We've got two 16 inch touchscreen uh, NSS Evo 3s. We've also gone ahead and put radar up on top. Um, that's the, the new uh, Radar 24, the Halo 24. Um, so it's an enclosed module which does everything for us. Uh, obviously this is where, when the boat's running, I spend 90% of my time up here now. Um, everything's at your fingertips, everything that you need's good to go. Uh, all your Cummins controls, we've put in the Fusion stereo, so we've gutted everything else that was in the boat at the time and put in a whole Fusion system. Uh, we've left the Furuno screen in here because we're going to run a uh, Tow Pro camera through that. So then we'll have real time video coming from what's out the back of the boat up here to the helm, which will be awesome once we get around to it. We just haven't got it done yet. Um, really comfortable up here. Like I said, I spend 90% of my day up here, so you want everything to be comfortable. We've got a fridge down the bottom there with a sink, hot and cold running water. So if if we do get dirty or we need to clean stuff up here, we can do all that. But there's plenty of storage uh, in the brow of the boat. So when we're fishing on the boat, we have all our gaffs and things like in all that sort of stuff on the boat. We take that home with us when we're not down here. Um, storage under the seats uh, on both sides, a lot of storage in under there. Um, and then storage also in under the, the helm itself. So there's a lot of storage throughout the uh, throughout the boat, as you'll see. Um, got to do the clears, so that's something that we always planned on having to do, uh, was replace the clears, and, and we'll get to that when we can, I suppose. Uh, got the Rupert Outriggers, um, they are awesome outrigger, uh, big American company, very different to the sort of outriggers that I was used to back here in Australia, um, but they have been awesome. So this is the uh, the flybridge. Great view, as you can see, at the back of the boat. Being in the in the marina at the moment, uh, you get a bit of a, a view for how high up you are and down here, and you're able to see everything that's going on on the back of the boat with the uh, with the crew. When we are fighting fish, obviously we've got the cover out the back of the boat, so that just pulls up and allows me to be able to see everyone down the back of the boat down there. So. I can make sure everyone's safe and doing what they're meant to be doing or just keep yelling at them as usual. So that's the flybridge guys, we'll, uh, we'll go back there. So down on the back deck, obviously this is where 90% of the action happens all down here on the back deck. So I uh, made this lean and post up myself at home, made a couple of them. So first go, this was a practice model, so we'll probably replace that out at some stage. Everything down here is set up for a game fishing boat. That's what we bought the boat for, that's what we want the boat for. So we set everything up so it's easy to operate and do what we need to do down here. Big live bait tank. Um, we're still working out a few little issues with that at the moment, just trying to keep the constant flow going. So we've, we've got a few things to fix there. But uh, that's had crayfish in it, live bait, squid, all sorts of stuff. So you would have seen that on other videos or posts. Um, comes in handy for everything uh, and it's good to go. Uh, hook them, have helped us out. 
as always with the slimy tubes so we put those in the boat when we first got it dad and i did that over the coast um put in a rod holder here so when we're bait balling and things like that we can back the boat up on the bait balls drop the, got the, uh, the bait over get hook up and get everything done heaps of storage again down on the back of the boat uh, this one here has got the deck wash so a fresh water and a salt water deck wash um, obviously that's really really handy the fresh water wash for when we come in every day the guys can wash down all the rods and reels with hot water which is really good for them gets rid of all the salt so we're looking after all that gear. more storage in here um, and on each side we've got uh, on that side all the cleaning gear all that sort of stuff and then in here we have all our gaffs and things like that for when we're for when we're fighting our fish on the back here cool box so this is all set up ready to go for for running all of our stuff so we can put in um, drinks fish whatever we whatever we want um, it's a full cool box that runs pretty much 24 7 when we're out fishing once again the sink guys down here get pretty dirty so we want to keep them clean before they go into the cab so that way it's where we live you know we want to stay nice and clean hot and cold water um, we've got all our bait station here when we come back in from our fishing everything gets hung up here nice and clean put away uh, this folds down and in behind here you've got another dedicated uh, locker with uh, some rod gear some fishing gear normally keep just balloons and uh, shark stuff and things like that just stuff that you want to be have or want to be able to have access to really easily so uh, if something turns up at the back of the boat you can can do what you need to do. One thing that always gets overlooked on a boat, bin. Okay, we've got a nice big bin here um, for the guy down the back deck and for in the house. Uh, so everything comes out here and then it's easy once we get into the marina to just pull it up and empty it out. This side here, uh, you've got your 240 volt access to the to shore power. So this is where we plug in when we come into the marina. Um, that's pretty much all that lock is used for and access to the, the outriggers for tightening and closing the outrigger up. Uh, looking down on the floor, all right, so big, big storage area now. Um, a lot of storage down in here in the, in the mazinet. Okay, so this gives you access to the back of the boat. Uh, there's three hatches all the way across the back of the boat and that's all open access. That allows us to put fenders in there, um, boxes, chairs. At the moment, we've got the vacuum cleaner, the Weber Q in there, a few other little things in there. All set up for when we go away to make things a bit easier, I suppose. But a really, really good storage uh, area for whoever's on the boat fishing with us and, and doing what we need to do. Uh, probably one of the, the key parts is the transom door all right so when we do get those big fish and you want to want to keep one you need to bring it onto the boat so pretty uh pretty straightforward just open her up and that gives you full access and you can bring everything that you need in and out of or on the boat if anyone wants to do some diving or some swimming that gives you full access to the back of the boat as well So, obviously, getting down to the heartbeat, the engine room, it's pretty tight down here, so uh, I'll get Jackie to just sort of pass the camera down as best she can. I'll give you a quick tour of everything down in here. Uh, I've spent a fair bit of time down in here. Uh, obviously, this is the heart of the boat, so you need to make sure everything's all good to go down here. We've replaced a couple of things since we, we, we bought the boat. Uh, the biggest one of note has been the, the generator. The heat exchange on the old generator got all blocked up and we ended up making the decision it was just gonna be easier to pull it out of the boat and put a brand new one in. So we've put a brand new 11 kVA owner generator into the boat, which was a pretty big job. Uh, and we'll show you what we had to do with that. Like you gotta pull the floor up, things like that. Um, but I've spent a lot of time down here in the engine room. Big, big bit of advice from us, going from a trailer boat to a bigger boat get to know your engine because that's where everything is so getting down in here like I said it's pretty tight so you got got your 
got your two uh, two engines, QSM 11s, um, 640 horsepower each side, so they they put out the power when it's needed. Uh, big turbos on it, sounds awesome when it's up and running, as you probably heard from some of the videos that we've previously done. Holds 2,500 litres of diesel, uh, so you know those long range trips aren't too much of an issue whatsoever. We can get away and do most things. It's also got provisions for a bladder to be put on the back deck and pumped straight into the into the tanks. That was all set up by the previous owner, so a lot of stuff's been done there. Also of note on this thing is uh, the fresh water flush. So operating in the salt, you want to look after all your stuff. Um, and with outboards, when we get them back in on the trailer and that, we, we do a fresh water flush and just get all the salt out. Same principle applies here. Um, they're being set up to have a fresh water flush on these engines. So we come back into the marina, let the motors idle down, just cool down a little bit. And then from there, uh, open up the fresh water tanks and flush all the salt water out of the engines. So that way, when we're sitting here, and the boat's sitting here for a couple of days, a week, a month, however long it is, it's not sitting here with salt water in the engine blocks and things like that, it's all fresh water. So it's saving and looking after your gear. Um, I'll grab the camera. Jackie for a sec. All right, so that's the uh, the fresh water flush and everything, the setup there that I was telling you about. It's also got a uh, an oil change system on here so that makes doing servicing really really easy um, all you got to do is undo the filters that pumps all the oil out pumps all the oil in so as you can see it's uh it's pretty tight down in here there's not a lot of room working on the engines can be pretty tough that's the uh one of the 200 liter water tanks over there coming around that's the brand new uh, owner generator toilet system and then the other fresh water uh, tank over there so two 200 litre fuel tank uh, water tanks and then coming back down here that system there is your aircon for the saloon uh, also the hot water tank or hot water service over there in the corner fire system which can be activated from up in the flybridge uh, also activated down in here um, because this boat did go to America so when this boat was originally built it went to America uh, there is still some 110 stuff in here and that's all set up there that plugs into the uh, block heaters so there's no cold starts for this boat um, block heaters keep the engines at 36 degrees no matter what uh, so when you get down here you're not having that cold start and the wear on on diesel engines and things like that uh, so I think that's pretty much it down in here guys um, like I said spend a lot of time down here a lot of cleaning uh, always try and keep everything as clean as I can all right we'll move out of here Inside to the uh, cab. Alright, so we've been living on the boat now for for a couple of weeks down here in the marina. So we've got the dogs and everyone down here with us at the moment, so it's a little bit how it is, I guess. Uh, first thing you'll notice when you come into the boat itself is all the rod storage. Uh, we keep the rods all up here when we're out fishing on the boat and, and doing everything so they're out of the way. Everyone can still access everything that they need to access down here. We take all this gear home with us when we're finished so we don't leave any of this stuff down on the boat. But um, when we're set up, this is how it's set up. Big dining area in here. Um, we've had, I think, seven people, eight people in here having dinner and things like that. So there's a lot of room. Uh, big couch system. That can be converted into a double bed as well. Um, when we had to do the generator, we had to pull all this up, so all this floor here comes up and you access to the engine room through two big hatches that are here. So it's quite a big job, um, not, not a real easy thing, but it is what it is. Uh, all your control panel for all your electrics and everything is over there, so that gives you the full electric run on 
everything on the boat lets you know what the boat is actually doing when it comes to its electric. So 12 volt and uh, 240 volt and 24 volt. Um, so, and obviously the 110 as well. So there's a fair bit going on there that you've got to wrap your head around and get used to. Uh, power points, all that sort of stuff. You can start your generator from inside the saloon here uh, and it can also be started from down in the engine bay and stopped as well. Big sliding window on the back here. So I'll just open the curtain up for you. Um, lots of shade, lots of everything in it. Like, I mean, the living area itself is really good. Um, this opens everything up out the back, so when you're in the marina, you get a nice breeze coming back in through here, open up the hatches, all that sort of stuff. So you let everything breathe and do what it needs to do. Um, big TV, obviously those days like today where we're stuck in the marina because of weather and things like that, you, you want to be sitting around, you, you know, you don't want to be bored sitting around, so there's always something to do. So you can link up YouTube and watch some more Cuzzy Bro videos on there and all that sort of good stuff. Um, once again, the Fusion surround sound system, okay, all the speakers in here, plus speakers out on the back deck, so the guys can listen to what they want to listen to down on the back deck, and I can listen to what I want to listen to up on the flybridge, and then we can link everything so everyone's listening to the same stuff, so um, it, it's good, brings everyone together, keeps everything going along nicely there. Uh, Alright, coming down into the galley. Um, Jackie's probably better off running you through this one. Um, she spends all her time, well not all her time, but she, she does the majority of the cooking um, and, and she's got it down to a fine art. Living on a boat is, is something you've got to practice, it's not easy. Um, so you, you've got to understand that you've got to change some of the things that you do because you just don't have the appliances and stuff like that that you do at home. Bench space is okay. Um, obviously, for the size of the boat and what it is, um, everyone always wants a bit more bench space so that you can do more things, but uh, the bench space for the 43 has been pretty good so far. Um, we've got access to cupboards up here with glasses and a few other bits and pieces. Sink, hot and cold water. Uh, we've got the um, air fryer. That's a new addition to the boat and so far we've had it for this trip and it's been awesome. So that's been doing everything. Power points up the back there, in behind the, um, the air fryer are the water maker gauges and stuff like that. So we can, we've got a desal plant on the boat. Um, we're still in the process of getting that fixed. It looks like we're going to replace it, uh, but we've got the, the ability to create our own fresh water. Probably a downsize for this part, or a downside for this part of the boat is the fact that the power points, we really probably need another two power points here just so you can run your appliances and do other sorts of things as well. So, something that we're probably going to have to do later on. Uh, heaps of storage in underneath, okay, so we've got pots and pans, cleaning gear, all sorts of stuff in underneath here. Um, on that side as well, big storage area. We've got a dishwasher on the boat, so this here open it. is the dishwasher. Alright, um, I want to replace it, I don't think it's practical for us, Jackie doesn't like it, so um, I, ideally I want to put a, a freezer in there, so a chest freezer or something like that, and we're looking into that to see what we can do. Um, all your plates and cutlery and all that sort of stuff here and on the other side over this side here. Uh, microwave is an oven as well so um, not just a microwave but an oven so you cook and do everything in there. Another drawer with all your knives and forks and all the cutlery side of the house and then uh, a bit more of a pantry over here. This was one of the only ribs that I've seen with this sort of layout um, so another reason why we sort of went with this boat. Down here you've got your aircon controls so this controls all the saloon area up here um, for your aircon so we've got two aircon uh, zones basically the saloon and then down into the um, the bedrooms is another aircon system uh, so yeah underneath my feet here massive big storage area um, 
so the previous owner had shifted all the batteries out of the engine room and has placed them all down in here okay so this is where our water maker and everything is down in under here so it's got lights and all that on under there we haven't got the lights on at the moment so i'll just use a torch for you um, so you've got the Spectre water maker down there, like I said, that's in the process of being replaced. Um, so it's just sitting there, and then all our batteries, our full battery bank for everything on the boat is all in under here. Good thing and a bad thing, makes it really, really easy to access that sort of stuff if you have to. Um, but it does take up a bit of storage in here, and for when we do our trip, this is, uh, this we use pretty heavily for storage. So. Um, just some compromises that have to be made, I guess, along the way. Pups, pups aren't happy. Hey! Okay, so getting back to the, the uh, moving our way down here. Fridge freezer, so got the, the fridge and everything down here um, freeze is all set up with with everything in it and then the fridge itself so just the normal house fridge uh, made by Dominic moving down a bit further uh, so this is our our proper pantry it's got everything in there that we need for when we're away uh, all, all our food we stock that up every trip and uh, it's just like doing a shop uh, all right, down in here, washing machine and dryer. So, sorry, no dryer, just the washing machine. All right, so um, washing machine, all your clothes. So when we're away, when we get back in after a couple of days, normally the boys are starting to stink a fair bit from being out on the back deck. So we just do a thing of washing while we're out at sea and, and then get it dried when we get back in or hang it upstairs and let it dry as we go. <laughs> So, oh. so moving down into here, this is the uh, the guest bedroom. Um, so you got the the two beds on the bottom and the bunk bed that converts into a a, a king size bed, double whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you got another couple on the boat, we'll set this up accordingly. Good place for some rod storage when there's only me and Jackie on the boat. Um, so we can put stuff in here and just sort of keep it away. Good amount of storage, um, but most people when they come on the boat really just bring their own bags and everything. We just chuck them in the lockers and everything here. So sort of it's, it's pretty good. This has access to the uh, to the guest bedroom. Uh, sorry, bathroom. All right. So uh, if you go through into here, this is the guest bathroom. So they've got their own shower toilet, everything that they need in here. All right, and then moving forward, down into here, the, uh, the master bedroom, double bed set up, got the TV, all the uh, storage in the, in the sides. Um, Jackie's parents made this awesome Christmas birthday present up here. It's really cool, got the marlin on it, doing everything. So that's just to block the sun out, so if you wanna have a bit of a sleep in, you're not getting woken up by the sun. Um, heaps of storage down in here, like I said, this bed lifts up, you got storage under the bed. The air con is also located under the bed. Don't hear it while it's running, and this is all uh, located in here, through a run through another panel on the wall there for your air con in your bedroom, so you can set the temperature for your your area. The, uh, the master's got its own ensuite, so toilet, shower, um, and everything there. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it, I guess. The, uh, the 43 has been awesome. Uh, big, big learning curve for both myself and Jackie going from the trailer boat to this. Um, however, that's our, uh, that's our rib 43, hashtag just one more. So make sure you get on to Cuzzy Bros Fishing uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and also YouTube. Check us out, make sure you follow on us. And uh, if you've got any questions about the boat, you want to know anything, 
Uh, don't be afraid to reach out. We're always more than willing to give someone a hand and help them out uh, through things that we've learned so that you guys don't have to spend the money that we've spent to get the same end result, I guess. So if you see us down in the marina, don't be afraid to yell out and say g'day. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.